Ever wish you could be king or queen of your own country or maybe just the mayor of your own town? Here's your chance. The small town of Nipton, California, it's about 65 miles south of Las Vegas, is for sale again. Plans to turn it into a cannabis retreat didn't pan out. So now the owner is looking for a buyer who can appreciate the historical and cultural vibe that's kept this town alive for more than a century. News Nation reporter George Knapp gives us a tour. If the sound of a passing train is music to your ears, if you appreciate Joshua trees, the gnarly gargoyles of the Mojave, if you love wide open skies and a slower pace, the little railroad town of Nipton might be for you. If you buy the whole town, the accompanying vibe is free. You can talk to the universe out here. This is where I come to talk to the universe. And you can't do that everywhere. Shannon Salter is a PhD yeah. candidate at UNLV who was bitten by the Nipton bug years ago and visits as often as she can. Like many who care about the little town, she's hoping it falls into the hands of just the right buyer. I'd like to see somebody here that that loves the place. Nipton is 65 miles south of Las Vegas on the California side of the state line, 10 miles from the interstate, with a railroad line on one side and a massive forest of Joshua trees on the other. It feels like an Old West Brigadoon, a place lost in time that occasionally appears out of the mist and dust. That's how life is out here. It's just a little bit different, you know. You Stefan Sheeran arrived in 2017 as a consultant for American Green, a large cannabis company that bought the town for $5 million with ambitious plans to turn it into a cannabis retreat. The company sunk a pile of money into infrastructure, built several eco cabins, as well as comfy teepees for visitors, installed massive public art pieces like this sculpture made from old shopping carts, and did restoration work on some of the historic structures. Stefan fell in love with Nipton and now is the unofficial town manager. So what does a buyer get? So what they get is 80 acres, including the general store here, the trade, Nipton Trading Post, the Whistle Stop uh, Cafe over here, and then the hotel, which has got five rooms. There's also an RV park, a rustic schoolhouse turned public hall, a tiny cemetery, and a lot of history. Nipton was the crossroads for two different wagon trails. It was a mining camp, then the railroad built it into a town in 1905, and it became a center for area cattle ranchers, including Rex Bell and Clara Bow, Hollywood royalty whose walking box ranch is just down the road. That's the Clara Bow room. Some guests of the hotel say they've seen and felt Clara Bow in her namesake room. The town was purchased in the 80s by a Caltech geologist named Jerry Freeman and his wife, Roxanne Lang. They planted jojoba and grapes and the now giant eucalyptus trees, upgraded the ample water supply, made Nipton the most solarized town in America long before the nearby Ivanpah solar plants existed, and took steps to make Nipton self-sustaining, respectful of its history and friendly to the earth. Freeman passed away a few years ago, and now wife Roxanne has put Nipton back on the market with an asking price of around $2.7 million. But it might be negotiable if a buyer's heart is in the right place. You know, this isn't a suburb of Vegas. This is its yeah. own little place. You move here to get away from that. You move here to get away from that.